So uh, we want, we're very proactive. We gather tenant data. Um, we use a person from Upwork, Sagaro, to uh, three times a week take tenant data. So tenants who are advertising from Easy Roommate, Spare Room, and Gumtree, put it onto a spreadsheet and text them out and say, uh, we saw you looking for a room. We use Bitly, which is just a, an URL shortening, to send them out the advert for the room, and we ask them to call in. And Josh will talk to you this afternoon. We're very active on Spare Room in messaging people at the moment. He's switched to that at the moment, and he's finding that that's sort of extremely effective and um, and um, but there's the, the we because we're so proactive i mean i start shaking if a room's empty we've got a great big board and the second we put the date when it's available and the second that turns into now i'm like josh what is going on mate now that means it's void what's happening and one of the other thing to pick up on there andy was Remember to do pro forma for everything. You should have a nice file within your business saying tenant photos, so images and photos and adverts. So you never ever need to rewrite an advert. Once you've written an advert and think about what is involved in the advert, what they need to see, the cafes, the services, the, the, sh the bus routes, all the rest of it, all you do is re put it straight back up again. The other, the other source of very good tenants and repeat tenants are the recruitment agencies who have specific time bands for uh, jobs that they advertise and refill. So in our area, we've got JCB and a variety mm. of others, and they take people on six months and year contracts only, um, and they will come in. And so we have one house that is just filled by that particular company, and Great. they let us know what's happening. Great. Um, and we don't have to do anything. We don't have to repeat any of the adverts. We don't have to look. They go, you know, he's going, another one's coming in. Is that all Great. right? Yep. And that, Anthony, for your information, is um, how I filled, I, I fell upon it by mistake, that first shared house where I had one week to make the interest payment, and it was the 19th of December, I fell upon IT workers from India coming in through Lloyd's TSB. Um, and, and it was, and uh, so the deal was you can move in now, I will give you cheaper rent on a three month contract because I had to pay the bills, you have to make me a curry. I had no. the most amazing <laughs> curries. <laughs> that it's, it's kind of on Rachel's point is when you get a tenant from who is actually works for a lead employer, yes. then ask them who is yes. an HR and yeah. accommodation officer yes. for the people coming in. That's and right. You've got their email address and they literally just send them the stuff that you've got that month, that month, yes. that month. And then so you don't have to go through the switchboard. It's that's the it. Says, I'll, I'll literally give you, give you the number of the RHR department. Yes. And that's been, that's been really good for yes. us. Uh, early on, Castle Road was filled with uh, Indian IT workers mm -hmm. coming in to do short-term contracts for Lloyd's because I needed them in.